Hi YouTube world, I'm back with another video. I've been gone for a little while, uh, but I'm back. I've been so busy studying, um, and I found a little teeny tiny spot to do uh, record this video. I want to show you um, my reading material, what I do to organize, and all of the other stuff that I bought for uh, respiratory school. And as you have noticed, I'm in the comfort in my own bed, and my pajamas it says princess priorities <laughs> so uh i didn't want to like like the rest of the video the other videos i didn't want to get all like prettied up and all that stuff it's just not, not not me and and i think that anytime that i'm gonna record a video in my house i am almost sure that i'm gonna be wearing my pajamas <laughs> so <laughs> i'm gonna be the pajama mama <laughs> okay so let's get started Okay, so um, we are doing remote learning, so everything is uh, I'm doing is from home, uh, but I do have six classes, and all of the classes I have a binder for each of the class, and I write on the side what class it is, what instructor I have, and what day and the time it starts, so I can make sure that I know that, um, that I'm there <laughs> on time. Um, and in the front, in the front, it has obviously the, um, the class it is. And down here, I'm covering, it's the Zoom number. The, because we're doing everything through Zoom. Um, I also have, like with the bind, with the binder, I also have a corresponding, uh, notebook, which I write all of my notes and everything in here. But before, uh, passing uh, all of my notes in my notebook like really neatly I get loose leaf paper and I write I write down like all of the notes for the day really sloppy and then I, I pass it to the notebook neatly and I have a binder with full it's full of loose leaf paper and as you can tell they're like different sizes here uh, these these um blank pages are from old uh notebooks for my kids you know because they go to school and they don't always use the whole uh notebook during the during the year so at the end of the year I'll what I do is check what um how many pages uh blank pages are left I cut those down and then uh with the um three hole punch I punch a hole and I just put them in this bank in this binder and I we use these just to you know if we're doing like notes and you know but these are perfectly good papers you know these are good perfectly good loose leaf paper they might be in different sizes but uh, they work um, okay I also have my agenda. This baby has saved me from asking a million questions. When is homework due? Uh, what's the homework for this week and all that stuff. I try to make sure that I write all of my homework, all of my assignments that are due for the day, uh, for the week. I, I write them down and as I go along, I make sure to, to scratch that out because, you know, I don't want to be checking against it to make sure that I did the, the work. Okay. I also have my little um, pen, pen, pencil case. They're mostly pens. They're, uh, they're mostly like these little Sharpie ones. And um, I have a whole bunch of, uh, like the, the case is almost full. Uh, the books, the books that I have for that class, there's like, let's see, five books, but we're not using those five books in this semester. Uh, they told us that the, the books that we have right now are the books that we're going to use for four semesters. Um, so let me show you. I have this one. This is the big book, the biggest book that we have. It's uh, Respiratory Care, Principles and Practice. 
Uh, we have been using this book. As you can see, I have little tabs in here. These are the chapters that I already read. And what I do is just because it's so much to be writing notes and all that stuff. So what I do, and it works for me. It's not going to work for everybody. So what I do is that I put sticky notes in the places that I feel that I have to write important notes. So that way I can go back and look through it and read the sticky note and I already know what's in that that little section. You know what I mean? Okay. I have we also have the respiratory care calculations book. We have uh done a couple of pages in here. It's you know, it's it's just barely starting. I've been, you know, in the class for a month. And so far, it's not that bad. I'm really bad at math. So right now, these are the two books that we have used. The books that we're going to use in the future are the Neonatal and Pediatric uh, Respiratory Care. See? Mechanical Ventilation. We have not used these, uh, these three books. Respiratory Care. Uh, critical Care. Yeah, we have not used these uh, last three books, not yet. Those are going to be used in the future. Um, we also have uh, JB Learning. It's online. And we get uh, the, uh, we get slides and all that stuff. And then we have to do homework and quizzes in there. Uh, it's not that bad. So far, it hasn't been that bad. Um, for the JB Learning on the, on the slides, I also write notes. Um, I make sure to like separate them um, by what section it is and what lesson I have to I have to write it down and it's easier for me to to uh, to learn it you know I'm writing it down and um, and when I go back and reread it again I remember what section I saw that <laughs> okay so moving on uh, I also bought um, a PDF for respiratory care it's this really teeny tiny book um, and it cost me I believe like $25 it was a little expensive and I bought this other teeny tiny book it's it's meant to fit in your pocket um, it's the Oaks respiratory care guide pocket guide and these have been helpful I'm still learning how to like read these you know because there's uh, some some of the things they have like the abbreviation and I have to look them up so because I, I still don't know uh, another thing that I have is um, sticky notes I have a lot of sticky pads the uh, post-it pads uh, yeah the post-its and and like I said that's what I do I write little notes I put them in my in my book or I stick them to the wall and you know just like reminders you know um, what else I also these are old calculators I've had them for a couple of years now uh, but these are gonna be very helpful because uh, using the uh, doing the calculations um, book this one I, I need it okay so uh, these are all of the calculations that they told us that we have to know because in the quizzes or the tests, they're not going to provide the calculations. So we have to make sure that we know these. Uh, so we so we have to know what kind of calculation goes with the question they're going to ask. So, you know, wish me luck with that. <laughs> okay, another thing that was required for my... Um, for my class, it was like, uh, they told us our working materials. This is what I'm going to have to use on a regular basis at work. And I, uh, a stethoscope. I got me a stethoscope. This is the cardiology five, I think. And it is. A rainbow edition it's so beautiful 
it's beautiful i love it it was expensive i think it was almost 200 dollars for this one um okay i also got the pulse ox it's a pink one I, i'm kind of i kind of have like a little theme going on in here it's kind of mostly most of the stuff in here is either like the rainbow or the pink uh i, I don't know why i don't know why but I, growing up i was not a fan of pink but you know now i kind of feel like everything looks so pretty and pink so that's why i've been getting everything like pink and all that stuff okay so another thing that we've uh, we also had to buy are the hemostats. I bought this one. It came in a packet of two. And one is uh, straight and the other one is curved. Okay. We also had to get scissors. These little scissors right here. So I have those. And to put all of my stuff in, like all of these stuff that I just showed you, I bought me a little box. You see, it's pink. Okay, so I love this box. So it has multiple, or yeah, it has like two little, um, I don't know what you call mesh things to make sure like they don't fall over. And this is to put like pens and pencils. But so far right now, because we've done this at home, we haven't gone to clinicals or anything. This semester we're not doing clinicals. I have my little um, hemostat scissors in here and down here I put my stethoscope. Okay, let me show you how it looks like, uh, uh, how I have it in here, okay? Okay, so this is how it looks like full. I have my scissors right here, my he hemostat scissors here. And my stethoscope and the hemo, uh, I'm sorry, and the pulse axe. It's right here. And this is so helpful. Um, everything fits in here perfectly. And I can just close it up and, you know, I'm ready to go. But, you know, I haven't, I haven't really been using the, uh, everything in here. Even though we do have to send a video of us doing the vital signs because uh, we have to do our competency uh exam or whatever you want to call it in a month i believe so i have to start using this <clears throat> these <laughs> another thing that we had to get was the blood pressure cuff um i accidentally i didn't pay attention to what i, I was buying and i accidentally bought the large adult cuff so it's, it's not bad though not bad you see okay so the school provided us with a couple of things uh, that we had to go pick up and I have my little purse that I, I put everything in here all of the things that that the school have has um, provided us that we're we will be using and we'll will be learning how to use or whatever um, I don't know what the names of all of these things are, but you know, let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is an adult, this is an air entrapment mask with fixed diluter. It has a mask in here. I think these are called the simple mask. I can't remember though. And it has these little, uh, things I, I don't know what these are called either i'm sorry these are called oh this is a diluter okay i will learn i will learn all of this stuff by the end of this semester i have to, i'll learn what all of these things are okay i'll they also gave us a nasal cannula i know this i know this <laughs> This is the incentive spirometer, I believe this is called. Uh, this, I have no idea what this is. This is a filter viral bacterial. 
this one right here. Um, this one, I have no idea what this is. Nebulizer with tea mouthpiece. This one right here. Some of the things I haven't even opened. It, it's because I'm afraid to open it just because I don't want to lose the little pieces inside. So, uh, until I learn. Until I learn. Okay. This is a non-rebreather mask. has a little mask in here and a bag which I have learned that before you put the mask into the patients uh, you have to make sure that the bag is filled with oxygen first you know because that's what they're, re they're that's what they're breathing and they have these little tabs here um, uh, this is to when they're exhaling uh, they exhale the ex, uh, the CO2 and then they close when you're breathing again so you're not rebreathing the the exhaled um, CO2 okay and obviously this goes connected to the to the oxygen on the wall uh, we have sterilized uh, water for inhalation. This is to humidify the the oxygen being provided, I guess. This one is a trach care kit. You see, I have not opened it either. Uh, I just, I want to make sure I wait until that moment. This, I have no idea what this is. It looks like a PVC pipe with, you know, like cover in, in there. I don't know. And that's all the school provided for us. Um... And I want to show you my desk. Uh, okay, so for my desk, please don't judge me. Um, my desk looks a little different because uh, it's kind of like refurbished. It used to be a, a fish tank table. And so my husband took off the, um, uh, the, the, the doors and we kind of extended it so I'll show you I'll show you and I'll explain you how um, how we did it okay okay so this is my desk and this is how I have everything organized in here I have all of my binders down there and the bag with all of the uh, materials that we're gonna use in the lab and notebooks all of the books uh, my little box with um, the stethoscope I have this is where I keep all of my sticky pads and the PDF uh, PDQ I'm sorry okay so this is what I was talking about this the the fish tank used to go up to here up to here you see uh, and so this part right here is um, one of the doors one of the doors that used to close uh here there there used to be another an um like another door uh, a door here i think and so that one we extended it so this is one door this is another door right here and my husband bought this part down here and so that's how we, that's how we extended it. And then we just put uh, the, uh, what you call this, uh, paper to make it look all nice. So that's why I'm like, please don't judge me. You know, for now, this is what we can afford. And so hopefully later on, on down the road, we can, we can afford something a little better. But for now, I'm comfortable with this. I'm comfortable with this. And I'm happy. I also bought me a lamp. I told my husband that I needed the lamp because uh, just in case one day that I need to study and I'm like studying all, uh, all night, I can, you know, use the lamp and not bug his eyes because it this, this desk is in my room. This is in my bedroom. So, uh, you know, anyway, so I have my desk chair here um 
it's a really old chair and um, it hurts when I sit down it's uh, I, I have to sit like on the Tuesday class I have to sit for five hours um, because it's lab and it it's just my back hurts and all that stuff and I thank my brother that he one Christmas he bought me this uh, back massager and I use the back massager when my when I can't take it anymore so thank you brother for that uh, I did order a chair it, it's a gaming chair I ordered a gaming chair and so uh, it arrived but here's the thing this is the this is the chair but here's the thing they sent us a chair it's nice and everything it's comfortable well I think it is comfortable it's soft um, but one of the armrests it's torn I'll show you a picture uh, so it's torn in here and I think there was something wrong with the one of the backs or something like that I don't know and so we have to return it and uh, they're making it like a big deal or something I'm not sure because we ordered it through Amazon and um, through my uh, brother-in-law's account because I don't have an Amazon account and so we have to return it they're gonna return give us our money back or something I don't I'm not sure so this is what I have Okay, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my 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 refurbished desk and all of the the stuff that I have. Maybe um, uh, at next time or maybe next semester, I'll show you again what are the new stuff that we have. And so. Um, well, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below with any of your comments, um, and subscribe. I always forget to say that. Like, comment, and subscribe. So, um, hope you enjoy your day, and I'll see you in the next. Bye!